Hello, YouTube family. I'm Patty Jackson. I'm your auntie of pop culture. This is Latoya Charleston, and we're back. We're here. Fresh Monday. Yes, Fresh Monday, <laughs> and we got a lot to talk about. We're going to start over with Charles Manson. Oh, okay. The, the, the killer, um, he passed away. Yes. I believe it was this year. It was, I believe but so. It, but in the 60s, ter terrible crime that he mm -hmm. committed. The Manson family murders, and apparently the last snack, what he left... Okay. that he ever ate okay. is up for grabs as well as his false teeth for $50,000. And you know what's crazy? <laughs> Some weirdo was going to buy it. It's going to buy it. Like, but, Why? okay. All right. Okay. I can't explain insanity. <laughs> DeBrat, the rapper, may be going to jail. She filed for oh. bankruptcy last week for $7 million. Yes. A few years ago, she assaulted a former NFL mm -hmm. cheerleader. The cheerleader sued her yes. for $6.5 million. DeBrett has not tried to pay it. So they're saying, we're going to lock you up because you didn't pay this money. You paying nothing toward it? She paid nothing towards it. And then she said, she said, well, if you'll lock me up, I, ain't, I, can't, I can't make the money to pay it back. Her fine, everything is just jacked up. <sighs> They say, all right, well, you don't be going like to do it no Yeah, don't be. <laughs> Our message, don't be like don't the do that. Pay your bills. Pay your bills. Come on. Black Girls Rock, they yeah. filmed it over the weekend. It airs on BET. Mm -hmm. Sunday, September 9th, Queen Latifah is hosting one of the big highlights. Big tribute to the Queen, the soul of Aretha Franklin, who's on the cover of People Magazine and this it'll be week. Done right this time. Yes, Fantasia. Fantasia yes. put her foot in. In it, an amazing night. Janet Jackson's being honored. Mm. Mary J. Blige, supermodel Naomi Campbell. Okay. Sunday, September 9th on BET. We'll be there, front and center. Who would try to run on stage and try to attack Jay Z and Beyonce? Somebody crazy. A 26 year old African American male. He's gotten a citation for disorderly mm. conduct. He's been charged with simple battery. Their dancers swooped down and beat his ass, they which did. they should have. What are you yes. trying to run on the stage what for? What are you doing, sir? Yeah. And he, you said he was intoxicated, right? Yes, he was drunk. Okay. That's no excuse. He won't forget that moment. To go after Beyonce. <laughs> you won't forget that moment. No, and he probably was an overzealous fan, excited, but... But the dancers mm. swarmed out, to yep. where They looked real quick, and they said, oh, hell no. All it took was for one to start yeah. running. And they, they beat his ass. As they should have. Yeah. Stop that ass out. So, so, so stop that. I don't know what it is with young men. Every day you can't win. White males, y'all gonna stop. Stop it. Cut it out. Stop it. You're not gonna win every day. Stop it. You don't go shooting up tournaments. This was really tragic. And it was and sad. He, I think he, he injured many, mm -hmm. but it could have been a lot worse. Yep. And then he turned the gun on himself. Dummy. Because you didn't win. Like, what kind of... I just don't understand people out here. What's happening in your households that you think yeah. that you are so privileged and entitled? Everybody's not going to win. Every day is not going to be a good day. And I just realized today you told me, Patty, that he killed himself. He killed I was himself. like, I hope he died. And I hope you, you deserve to burn in hell in the Samuel L. Jackson voice. Like, what kind? No, he shot himself. He shot himself. Every Shaking. day you're not going to win. No. And I think that we have to teach our kids that... Um, it's okay. It's okay to lose. Yes, you get your character when you go through a defeat. Mm -hmm. It helps to make you better. You yep. take two steps back. A lot of times, you leap forward. I look at Jennifer Hudson. Back to Black Girls Rock. She yeah. didn't win American Idol. And no. Look at her. She had more awards than anybody that's been on the show. Thank you. And she didn't win American Idol. You cannot win at everything, and just you because can. you're not winning does not mean you are a loser at the end of the day. Because you're not. Patty LaBelle was coming to Greenleaf. The show debuts yeah, this week with a new season show. on OWN. So when you say, oh, that's Patty LaBelle by Lynn Whitfield. Lynn Whitfield plays the hell out of that oh, character. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, she does. <laughs> she, she goes in. Love it. Mm, mm, mm. Love that show. Let's talk power. <sighs> is Kanan really dead? R.I.P. 50 R. Cent. R.I.P. <laughs> Who is the executive producer of power? Mm -hmm. Why did it happen? It was time. 50 said in an interview, this show is not supposed to go past seven seasons. Good. So they'll probably have two more seasons to go. Okay. No one is safe, he says, on this show. Mm -hmm. um, you're seeing the evolution of Tariq. Mm -hmm. 
You know how he wanted to grab him and snatch him, that kid up? He's turning into his father. Yes, he is. Whether his father is 50 Cent or whether his father is Ghost. Mm Mm-hmm. It's the evolution of the characters, and this is what we're seeing. You're also going to see a lot of tension between Tommy and Ghost. Now that Tommy knows who his real father is, he's going to be less trusting of Ghost and siding with his dad, which is a mistake. It's a mistake. Because they're all messed up. Yes, but that whole thing. against them. Yeah, so Ugh. look at me with the power, with the power backstory. And a lot of people are saying, no, Kanan's not really dead. Like, they say it's a setup. No. No, Kanan he's, he's needs dead. to be dead. And I'm telling y'all, if y'all bring him back, I'm going to have to be out. Because this is when the right end... That's when you know you maybe struggling. A, maybe maybe in a flashback or yes, something like that. I can but, deal with him in a flashback. But Fifty but said it was time. It was. Uh, Fifty also said that no one is safe on this show. You got to think at the end of the seventh season, will it only be Ghost standing, or, somebody or else. maybe somebody else? Could be Tommy. But could be Dre. It could, could be, be Tasha. It could be. So mm-hmm. you never know. You never know. But um, this season, they have two more episodes, but. The uh, this this um, episode felt like the finale. It did, but it there's really two did. more. It did, but there's two Ooh, more. Y'all just thought episodes. about it like that, Patty. Lord, what's coming for the finale? Hot palpitations. I know. So, but uh, Fifty Cent said his character gain, and it was time yeah. for it to end. It was sad, but Lorenz Tate. On power, yes. that crooked mayor. He's expecting baby number four. Yes, right. Him. Pebbles got some good news. Remember mm-hmm. the TLC movie. Yes, we, on yes. VH1. Yes, I do. Well, Pebbles used to be TLC's manager, mm-hmm. and they did not make her look good. In and that. they didn't make her look good. <laughs> she said, "You're not about to be making me look dishonest uh-uh. and calling me a liar and saying that nope. I stole all their money." Nope. She sued VH1 for forty million dollars. There was the a settlement. <laughs> there was a settlement. We don't know how much VH1 had to pay Pebbles, mm. but she had to get some money. Get your money, Pebbles. Get your oh, money, Pebbles. You. Pebbles, Pebbles. Because they did gonna... not make her look good in that in that movie. Actor, comedian, phase on love. Oh, He's Lord. being sued for sexual harassment. Apparently, he was sending inappropriate photos to a former 26-year-old assistant. Videos of his private parts, and he would use these taglines. Big Worm. Remember when he was Big Worm in One Elf? Friday. One yeah. Friday, yep. Okay. Mm-hmm. To get in the character, okay. You know you want your tuition paid. Now that listen, normally I, I try to ride for these men, but you can't tell me this didn't happen. <laughs> Faison, what you out here doing? This we happened. Interview, we interviewed him, right? And he came, and we have a candy yes. jar, and he took and dumped it out. And Faison, get that woman her money. <laughs> he played Marie Star in the new edition. Faison. Give her her money and cut it out. Big worm, (laughs) listen to us. I don't know what you out here doing, but you two will. We have to Google and see how old he is. He's definitely in his. It might be. He might be even fifty. You too old. Hold up. We about to look it up right now. Okay. Okay. Google. Let's see how old he is. Because there there comes a time when you just get too old. To be doing dumb things Ooh. and doing dumb things for your show. Let me segue into the Bobby Brown story where you do that yeah, next week, ahead. y'all. September 4th and 5th, BET. You're going to see why Bobby Brown he was 50. the king of... He's 50? Yeah, he's 50. I thought I thought he was about that. Phase on. Cut it out. Phase on. You got to cut it out. Now, you're 50 <laughs> years old. You're making us 50-year-olds look bad. Yeah, yeah. Because we, we don't do that no. in our 50s. No. No. I'm sorry. New edition. Okay. <laughs> Bobby Brown next week, y'all. The Bobby Brown story. Yes. Mel B is going into rehab. Mm. As soon as America's Got Talent wraps up, okay. Mel is entering rehab. She says she's not only an alcoholic, but a sex addict. Okay. It's been a very rough year. Her messy divorce mm-hmm. from Stephen Belafonte. Her father died, mm-hmm. and she's in the process of writing a book. She can't talk about Eddie Murphy yet. 
They've already just insert they've another already, man's already, name. But they've no. already put the clamps down, that's like Melvin just talking about Eddie, who she has a baby by. Uh, now you know that's one of the chapters we want yes. to read. Yes. Well, Mel says she's a sex addict. I guess when the side chick that would do the threesomes mm-hmm. with her and her husband started talking, she just had to be truthful about what was going on. That was a good move instead of denying it. Can Ayala Van Zandt help the Braxton sisters? Hmm. The Braxton sixers, sisters, <laughs> Tamar, Tony, Trina, Tawanda, Tracy. Hmm. They're all going to Ayala Van Zandt okay. to see if she can fix their life and their parents. Oh, God. The dad who was cheating, Mom Evelyn. Wow. The sisters, all but Tracy, have quit the We TV show. Braxton Family Values. Tracy need her check. Tracy needs some money. Yes. Now, what they're doing at WeTV, which is kind of baffling, they're adding Kim Whitley to the cast, Pedro Parks of Real Housewives of Atlanta, mm-hmm. and rapper Flavor Flav. I'm, can we just call it Tracy and Friends? Yeah, because Cause... these are not Braxtons, and you're bringing them onto the show for what? Doesn't make sense. For what? It doesn't make sense. But do you think Iyama can help them? <laughs> they tried. They did that whole counseling thing before. Well, they're and back. They didn't. So they're back. I don't, I don't know. I, that's Tamar. I know they're I love gonna, Tamar, but she's a lot. Well, so they're coming back. I'll be watching. Yama. When is it? Fix my life. They're going to be when? filming it next month. Okay. So it, it should be airing yeah, soon after it that. Could, it could be airing soon. Okay. I mean, I just need to see. I'm trying to be in the business. <laughs> Cardi B. We love Cardi. Yes, we do. She's a mommy now. Yes. Hmm. But you can't post videos Mm -mm. of your husband offset fingering you. Yes. You're a mother now. Yeah, we don't. We know you're freaky. Cardi (laughs) says, I'm not an angel. We know. I'm a freaky ass nasty bitch. Uh She put a video up of offset fingering her. Now, they're married. but. Yeah. Everybody don't need to see that. We don't. Everybody needs to see that. We Y'all don't. just had a baby. And at first she was trying to deny it, but you cannot because looking, I watch it like 10 times. <laughs> <laughs> and she tried to say she had on leather pants. There was, unless your leather pants were flesh tone and had the same tattoos as you, mm-hmm. <laughs> there were no pants. You were indeed getting fingered, my friend. <laughs> well, Cardi says that she does what she wants, and if hmm. you don't like it, stay off the page. Normally, I would say yes. I agree with you, Cardi, but we don't need to know what's happening in your bedroom. Or in the back of the car. Yeah, we didn't We didn't need that. Yeah. 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 Sometimes we want things you, are left to we, the imagination. We want you to win. Yes, we do. We want to see you get things, mm-hmm. but we don't need to see the pornographic side no. or the or the fact that you may be freaky. Because if you're a freak, Auntie says, no one else should know that you're a freak. No that one. Is, that is your business. The girl Sunday Carter from Philadelphia. Oh, yeah, she was another one. Um, Basketball wives, y'all, okay. previously. She was videotaped doing a bunch of pornographic stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, somebody slipped or something. And they taped it. Yeah. Now she's suing. Got to be careful. You can't drink nothing. You can't, you can't eat nothing. That's, no. And that's sad. Especially if you're a, taking advantage of like that. Exactly. Yep. Exactly. Because so, technically, can, I wonder if she's going to file rape charges too. She could because yeah. she was under an influence. Yeah. And this guy did that to her. But Cardi, we want you to win. Yes, we We do. know you're not an angel. But no. you getting fingered by your husband in the car and we you don't. and you filming it. We don't need that. We didn't need to see that. Now, you're not going on tour with Bruno Mars, so that's nah. not, so not going on tour. Nah. Just a little auntie advice. We love you. And that's good advice, Patty. Yeah. Everybody needs a little auntie Patty advice. What, what do we say? We stand for you, Corey. Yes, we yes, we stand. We ride. We hear yes. for you all day. All day. But that, we didn't need that. Fingering? Filming it? Showing it to us? Subscribe to the channel. Let us know if you like it. Uh, Leave a comment. We'd love to hear from you. I'm Patty Jackson, your auntie of pop culture. This is LaToya Charleston, a.k.a. Black Nativity, Chocolate Divinity. (laughs) 
But we love bringing you the yes. information. Yes. And she actually eggs me on. Mm-hmm. I do. I'm like the you hype do. man in the back. Yeah, she's, yeah, <laughs> yeah. she's, she's, she's my hype man to yep. like, get the story down. Mm-hmm. So thank you for joining us. As we said, subscribe to the channel. And you know what? Tell a friend. Yes. Because it's not cute. Not, not knowing. knowing. <laughs>